Hi guys, in this video we're gonna see the kind of problems that we're gonna deal with here. And these are combinatorial optimization problems. These are problems where the set of options uh, from which we have to select the, the best one in principle is finite. That, that is the key. Uh, the difficulty usually comes because even though the set is finite, it is huge. There are so many options that checking each one of them is going to be unfeasible. And this kind of problem um, has many different applications. It appears in a wide range of different contexts. Like, for instance, when we want to find the shortest path to go somewhere in logistics, when we want to obtain the minimum cost to deliver goods to our clients, also when you have to find an optimal assignment of workers to tasks, like when you have to um, organize the night shifts in a hospital and, and there are certain constraints that you have to take into account. As we saw in previous videos, this would be this problem appears also in scheduling problems in production planning where you have to find the optimum sequence of jobs in a production process like in the flow flow job pro, um, problem and uh, also when you have to find the optimum distribution of aircraft crews uh, an optimum would be with the minimum cost when you have to find the best path to deliver data packages through the internet and there are many many different contexts where combinatorial optimization is is very useful and these problems are usually characterized by by um, a set of features or properties that we're, we're gonna see here they usually require either clustering or sorting or assigning a set of discrete objects okay discrete objects and usually we have to take into account certain constraints like for instance in the hospital problem uh, one individual cannot work two night shifts in a row Th things like that and um, these are problems where it is very difficult to find the best solution but often it is not that difficult to check whether one solution is good or not. This, this feature is sometimes called I know it when I see it problem. It's, it's reasonably easy if you give me a solution to check whether that's, that's good or, or it isn't that good. As we've seen in the previous slide, they appear in many different domains of application and usually they're very complex computationally and the complexity comes usually because the space of possible solutions is huge and this makes that um, this means that using exact algorithms or even exhaustive search is completely um, unfeasible we, we cannot do that it would take far too too long and and finally these are problems where usually it is okay to find a near optimal solution. So we, we, we are not going to obsess with finding the best possible solution. Usually a solution that is near the optimum is good enough and that will help us solve the, the real problem that we want to fix. The classical problem, by, by all means, in, in combinatorial optimization problems is the traveling salesman problem. We've talked a little bit about it in the previous video, but basically we are given a list of cities and the distance between each pair of cities. And what we want to find is the shortest possible route that goes through each of these cities. This problem has many applications in logistics, uh, delivery problems, uh, at the time of manufacturing PCBs, printer, printed circuit boards, where you have to, to drill different holes in, in the board and you want to find the shortest route so it takes the, the shortest time to process and to manufacture one printer uh, circuit board. And if 
if the number of cities or locations we have to go through is not very large or it's really small I should say like say uh, seven like in this example well in principle you can go through each possible solution and and then take the the best one the the, the one that that has the shortest uh, possible uh, length and in this case with seven with seven locations you would have to go through in principle seven factorial but if you think about it there is a symmetry argument here so once you've got a list of cities it doesn't matter whether you travel uh, that route in one direction or, or in the reverse direction and also the the initial um, location is irrelevant so so it's actually n minus 1 factorial divided by 2 but it scales as as the factorial but the problem is that mm, it scales as the factorial and the factorial as we've seen before scales really badly i mean you really have to do the numbers to realize how badly it, it scales and we're gonna do that here so imagine for instance that we can compute how long a certain route is in one microsecond okay a millionth of a second so we can compute a, a million lengths in one second imagine imagine that so to solve a problem for 10 cities would take us about three seconds for 11 about 39 seconds but for 20 cities only 20 cities it would take us more than 77,000 years think about it and if you think if, if you want to try to solve a problem with 60 cities the number of possible routes that we can choose um, that go through 60 cities in a different order is comparable to the number of atoms in the universe in the observable universe so so factorial really scales really badly okay down here we've got a uh, an illustration of a traveling salesman problem with 17 uh, cities and that has more than 10 to the 14 possible solutions so in general we're not going to be able to go through each uh, possible solution we're not going to be able to assess each of them so we will have to think of a clever algorithm that allows us to to obtain a reasonable a reasonably good solution uh, much more quickly than a thousand years okay that's that's the idea of the meta heuristics and to conclude this video this is a beautiful example of the optimal solution of a traveling salesman problem with 532 locations in, in the state is the switch locations of, of the AT&T, the American Telephone and Telegraph Company. And what we can see here is the optimal solution found by Pat Berg and Rinaldi using a, a branch and cut algorithm. So th this is the optimal solution. Okay, guys, so I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, thanks a lot for watching. See you later.